Hey Ron, this is Justin with Elk Incorporated and uh, couldn't find the antelope DVD that we were looking for. Uh, we sold out of them. We got more coming in, but it might be a while before we get them. So I know antelope season's coming up for you, you said probably in a week. So I want to make sure that we can uh, uh, give you a little bit of instruction anyway as far as how to use the call. And so the first thing that you're going to want to do with yours is uh, go ahead and open it up and you're going to there's an extra band inside. You got to take that out before you start blowing on it. Otherwise, you're going to get some nasty sounds. But uh, so the principle behind this, uh, it's very simple. Let me put it up to the camera here. Um, so when you bite down with it, it tightens up the band and you get a higher pitch. And then the less pressure you put, the lower the pitch. Um, you don't have to bite down real hard with these calls. And so uh, to get the right sound. And then when you blow it, you want to make sure that the air is coming from your diaphragm uh, as if you're singing rather than as if you were whistling. There's a difference on how that air comes out. Um, the other thing on the call, you'll notice uh, one side we got drilled out, um, whereas the other side isn't. And so what that's for, it gives you a more nasally sound. Um, which antelope typically have and so when I use the call I typically use the side that has the hole um, and that gives me the best sounds and so uh, just as a quick demonstration on how to how to blow it um, your teeth are gonna go um, let me see if I get the light right there's kind of this line right here that goes down the call and that's basically right over the center of the band on the inside that's where you're going to want to bite down with your teeth and then um, blow through it after that. So when you blow an antelope call, um, you want to put a K in the sound, basically. You go, K -k -k. and when one antelope are talking to each other, that's exactly what they're doing. It, it's that sound. So you can do you know, uh, younger antelope uh, fawn sounds or more of the doe sounds um, with the lower pitches. <coughs> you hear the difference. Now bucks, uh, during the rut, they do a challenge call. And so with that, it's a real growly sound. And um, if you're ever in real close to two of those bucks and they'll be talking to each other, this is what it'll sound like. <coughs> And so you can challenge bucks when you see them. If you got a decoy or anything like that, set it up. You can challenge them with those sounds and uh, you have usually pretty good success, especially during the bow season. So uh, during rifle season, if you're out hunting with it and uh, you shoot at some antelope and they're still running, um, hit that call a few times. And a lot of the time, that, I mean, every time that I've done it, they stopped. And so um, it gives a guy an opportunity uh, either at a second shot or to kill a second antelope if you got the tags. So anyway, uh, I hope this video was helpful. If you have any other questions, uh, you can email me uh, back. You'll have my email address after I send it to you here. Um, or you can call the office here and talk to Ryan, me, or Don. And again, my name's Justin. If you can think of anything else, man, let me know, and uh, I'll try to help you out. I appreciate your business, and uh, good luck this season.